Check that out. And as you walk in, you got your paint section, stuff like that, which is going to be moved around. We're going to have more cool sections like that. We got the outside area, side doors. Boy, that's a first for us. Starting progress of the Home Depot. This is the big Home Depot here. Yeah, obviously the big Home Depot there. Um, there's going to be a lot of shelves in there with the like, boxes on the bottom. So like they walk in and it'll just be rows of shelves? Yeah, there'll be um, hopefully quite a few shelves all the way back. Maybe like a lawnmower area, grill area, um, the customer service desks. We have like bags of mulch, you know? Flowers, trees. Could probably even put like a couple back doors for um, shipping and receiving. Yeah, I thought about that. And then maybe a couple push mowers or riding mower. Cool. He's even got the carts. And of course, I see a couple things will probably change, but wow. I wanted some kind of kitchen. And a bunch of tools, but check that out. We got some uh, little Home Depot carts going. Got a bathtub. I definitely like the direction it's going. Instead of starting from the front doors, we're gonna start from the garden center. So as we walk in, what we're anticipating is Maybe these will be like bags of mulch or something like that. So just stacks of stuff that people can grab. And uh, got a couple wheelbarrows there stacked on top of each other. Got a, uh, a dually and a single. And uh, a fountain with uh, some fish in it and some flowers and a bunch of water, stuff like that. We've got... Um, of course, flowers, a whole bunch of flowers, big flower bed. Looks like a uh, flower pot, a bunch of trees and stuff back there. And yes, you can buy trees at a Home Depot. Let's peek at the front real quick. So, of course, what do you see at all the Home Depots? They've always got tractors and mowers on display. So, we had to include those. In fact, by the time this set's done, we might have some more in different varieties. Definitely some more of these. So, maybe some green ones representing a different brand. So, customer would walk in that door or that door or right in through the garden center. Get the little Home Depot cart, which I think we're going to end up doing a couple varieties of that. You know, one for whoa, this section because you can't fit big pieces like that on a cart like that. So we're gonna kind of re uh, redesign the wheel, if you will, and uh, redesign what uh, our perception is of a Lego um, Home Depot <laughs> shopping cart for wood and things like that. So anyway, this is kind of a, a rough draft, if you will, of the uh, drywall section. We'll probably change that. We'll probably make it uh, so that they're more like, you know, what in real life would be a eight by four drywall sheet, something like that. But uh, nevertheless, it's kind of a start to the idea of our drywall section anyway. And then, you know, as I'm thinking, we're, we need to add a section that's got like rolls of tape and mud and stuff. Of course, uh, on the back, you've got a bathtub. Now, one of the other videos I did, the bathtub was sitting here, and it's just so massive, we decided to lay it down, or stand it up, so uh, that way it takes less floor space. On the back wall, just like the real Home Depot, we've got a whole plethora of tools. Of course, I think it might be on the front wall of Home Depot. Even a jackhammer up there. I think we might want to move that jackhammer down, put the sledgehammer up top. Got a bunch of piping, stuff like that. Big broom, big saw, 
some shovels. And there you got your Dewalt. <laughs> that's not Dewalt, it's not yellow, but let's just say it's Dewalt. Good old Dewalt power driver. And right here, let's just say we've got our stickering work ahead of us. So this is going to be all kinds of bare paint. And um, there is lumber right there. This represents the lumber section. So you got drywall here, lumber, and timber here. Timber! We might add some more lumber. Maybe kind of redesign that shelf a little bit. And then, uh, looks like maybe paneling. Little sections of uh, paneling, deck board, stuff like that in there. Um, that might be tiles on the bottom. Maybe tile glue up top, something like that. I'm assuming maybe that is like tile specs, perhaps. Maybe have a contractor section, something like that. Um, so, told them to put in a little kitchenette sample kitchen area so which I do like that but it's big you know I think it takes up a pretty good amount of uh, space in the store so uh, we might make that a little bit smaller and have a washer and dryer section in there too and then um, get the uh, clock in there I am seriously thinking about just adding on two more plates to the back of this and making it bigger. All right, everybody, we are doing some rebuilding of the Home Depot. So we decided to make it bigger. In fact, we're thinking about using a couple of those or just some uh, other giant pieces. But we took the tools off the back wall and it is gonna be massive. So it's gonna be a lot bigger Captain's log, start date September 12th, 2019. And here's where we're at on the Home Depot. Kind of a rough little area there we're still working on. All of it is still in progress, but we figured we would share with you the progress. Got the kitchens integrated, not really sure about those yet, so those are loose, these are loose. But they're gonna represent all kinds of boxes of products. Actually, everything you see in here is loose right now because we might end up moving it around. Got a ride mower inside. Got a lot of paint, got a lot of tools, all that stuff. Got a appliance section, a bathroom section. Got some wheelbarrows. I'm working on the outdoor section. So the Home Depot is slowly coming to life. Captain's Log star date Sunday, September 16th. Got an update on the Home Depot. Got some grills, some lawnmowers, stuff like that. Whole bunch of stuff in the store. And today we're doing our sticker test. So, and yes, some of these look rough, but that is to be expected. Brought all kinds of images in and printed them for the first time. So we're just kind of like getting the sizing together. Dewalt section, lighting section. Bear with the fact that these stickers look absolutely horrible right now. Bottom row, pretty detailed. It's gonna have the uh, LED lights, stuff like that. Wanted to show you the current status of the paint section. Slowly getting there. In fact, the area right there is that. So it's not quite ready yet. So I threw the uh, Snuggle and Dewalt and other boxes in front of that just to kind of cover it up. But added this in, you're going to be seeing lots of decor like that all over the place and of course these sections here the dewalt a whole bunch of lighting got a kitchen and stuff over there with the uh, energy saver thing on the door gonna have the energy saver stuff 
all over that whole area. Okay, so I want to try matching this. I'm going to go copy image. Up here to new. You didn't realize you'd be getting a uh, Photoshop lesson today, huh? So now that we've got this in here, we are going to use the eyedropper. Select that. Go back to the main image. Select that. And then paint around it. Now this is just in case our um, this is more of the color of the Lego blocks that the sticker is going to go on. And I'm thinking it might be. So this could end up being our main sign right here. All right, there's the uh, printed. I like that. I added one while well, the camera's off. I My felt favorite good one, that one out of all five of those is this one. Yeah, mine too. I think that's going to work. I think it's going to look good, people. Of course, this one might end up being what goes on the building. We'll see. Look at that cut. That's beautiful. Let's go see how it looks on the Home Depot. This is the magical moment that we've all been waiting for. This is not even the biggest sticker we've ever done. Make it official. The home. Like Chris and me, Home yeah. Depot. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not sure if the uh, lettering should be bigger, like taller. Mm -hmm. so, look all right? You like that? Mediocre. Yeah, well, I don't like mediocre, so. Yeah. All right, oh, so check that. that out. And as you walk in, you get your paint section and stuff like that. Which is going to be moved around. We're going to have more cool sections like that. And you don't like, have my legendary kitchen in there. No, everyone. It's that too is, big. I know, but that's why we're going to sell it. Separately. All right, everyone. Kitchen sold separately. Randy's been wanting that kitchen to go in there, but it takes up like the whole space. So we got to beat the scale here, man. That's why it's sold separately. Got to beat the scale. We need to stick something here for this sign to go there for the garden sign. All right, the brick addict. Home Depot is almost done. It's getting there. We're moving along now, folks. Moving along now. You guys know you want that picture in there. Detail. Yes. Awesome. It's the best part of the Home Depot. That's yes. It.